added this wheelbarrow motor to our hub motor catalog after getting a lot of interesting requests from people using e-bike hub motors for applications outside of a normal bicycle. Those are things like material handling, sometimes people pulling winches, sometimes agricultural vehicles or robots. And these are all cases where people needed a really high torque but slow moving wheel. Uh, they love the simplicity of a hub motor. Uh, but the e-bike hub motors, when you run them at really high torques and low speeds, they're not running at a very good efficiency. So I looked around and noticed quite a few companies actually making and marketing hub motors specifically intended for wheelbarrow applications. And we settled on Bafang as the manufacturer who made the motor that we like the most. Now what's interesting about this motor is it has exactly the same internal core structure as the G310, G311 hub motors that we're really used to. But instead of an 11 to 1 gear reduction ratio, these have a two-stage gear setup, all steel, that does a 30 to 1 gear reduction. So that alone gives the same motor core three times as much torque as the hub motor version. And the fact that it's in a smaller 16 inch tire size means that you get four to four and a half times as much pulling capability as you would with this hub motor inside like a 26 inch e-bike wheel. So that makes it a perfect motor for those cases where you want something that moves at like a walking to a jogging speed, but where you're carrying 200, 300 pounds of load, potentially up pretty steep hills. Steps to uh, climb this hill, which is like eight stairs with an electric wheelbarrow. So keep your handles low and pin it loose. We just had this soil slung in by a slinger. No problem. Okay, Zekile, oh, wheelbarrowing yeah. up the same pile of dirt with, without an electric wheelbarrow. Go. He's a fit dude. Like, he's a strong guy. Oh, he's getting up there. Look at, yeah. Come on, buddy. You got it. You got it. So the motor construction is pretty unique and different from a standard bicycle hub motor, of course. There's no flange or lacing spokes into a rim. Um, it has the correct rim shape just to take a tire directly over top of it. Now we supply this with this 16 by four inch tube and tire already installed so that you don't have to deal with any of the inconvenience of installing and fitting a tire over top of the hubs. Uh, but if you are to do this by yourself, we kind of recommend running it tubeless. Um, the valve hole on the hub itself will take tubeless valve stems just fine. And that simplifies the installation of the tire for sure, because you don't risk puncturing the tube as you try to reef it on there with a bunch of crowbars. Um, now, because there's quite a bit more internal space inside this hub, that gives a lot more room for Bafang to be a bit more creative in how they achieve the gear reduction. And uh, in this case, they've done it with just an offset jack shaft. So the motor itself, as I mentioned, this is the same internal motor as we get with the G311 bike hubs, uh, but it's spinning a two-stage gear reduction, a small helical gear going to this jack shaft, and the jack shaft turns a much larger tooth gear uh, running against a ring gear on the inside of the disc side plate. Um, and that double stage gear reduction gives a 29.9 to one final stage. And that's what produces the impressive 120 Newton meters of torque that this motor is capable of producing with our small base runner motor controller. 120 Newton meters in a wheel this size is about 130 pounds of pulling force uh, to put in perspective how much of a uh, pushing effect that can have on the vehicle. <laughs> This set of gears is entirely steel, and you can see that Bafang did put a helical angle on that first stage to try to bring the noise down, but it's still quite a bit noisier than we've come used to with the bicycle hub motors, so do be prepared for this to be a bit of a whining machine while it is running. Um, the other flip side to having such a high gear reduction, of course, is that the speed is a lot slower. So running a 36 volt battery pack, this system will do about nine kilometers an hour tops, and you can't really run it much faster than that. If you tried to run it at 52 or 72 volts, you would actually risk uh, causing the magnets to fly off inside the rotor because it's just spinning too fast for what the rotor is intended to deal with. Now we had Bafang customize these motors for us in the same way that we have for the bicycle hub motors to include both a temperature sensor and internal speed sensor on the nine pin Z910 connector. So if you do use this motor system with one of our base runners and cycle analysts, you'll get an internal temperature readout as well as a speed readout uh, with no extra hookups. And that allows you to really push the motors at least to its torque limits uh, without risk of overheating and burning it up.
You'll also notice that in this set of gears, there isn't a clutch like you normally find on a bicycle hub motor. So that means that the motor is always coupled, whether it's spinning with a forwards or a backwards torque. So you can do regenerative braking and you can run in reverse no problem. And in almost all the applications for these low speed motors, you're dealing with vehicles that are pulling backwards or wanting to take advantage of regenerative braking. So obviously the main use for this motor is for wheelbarrows and we decided to make some adapters to produce a sort of convenient app aftermarket kit to retrofit standard wheelbarrows to have this as a motor drive, um, but we've also had customers use them for all kinds of neat applications in agriculture, material handling, other uses where you just need a really high torque vehicle that's not moving terribly fast, um, and we look forward to see all the other fun things that our customers send us pictures of. 